Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. Today we're gonna change the battery on a ML350. This one is a 2015. And I think similar models are 2014, 13, 12. I think the MLs, they stopped producing at 2015 actually. So this is the last year that the ML are being made. Anything above that I think goes with GL, GLE and so on and so forth. So on the GLs, the battery placement or the location where it is should be, I believe, in the same place. All right, so before we change the battery, as you know, with all modern cars, they have computers and they have all kinds of settings saved in the computers. So if you unplug the battery, some of those settings might vanish, might get deleted. And then what you end up doing is you have to go to the dealership and they have to reprogram it back into your car, which, as you know, will cost more money. So to prevent that from happening, to keep the car's memory, what I got here, going is a trickle charger we're gonna hook up to the battery or to the battery legs that are here up front in the hood area and we got two places for that to do so we got the ground here which is hooked up straight to the car's body as you can see and then we also got positive here and if you flip this open you can see the positive leg that these legs that come straight from the battery from the back so with the trickle charger we're gonna hook up the negative and the positive So now, when we unhook the battery, the car will not know the difference. So the location of the main battery, as you can probably notice, is going to be in the back passenger side. What you're going to do is you're going to move the seat all the way forward and it's right below it. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to take the mat away here, pop this cover open. We're gonna flip this carpet here. If your carpet cannot be flipped open like this, like mine, then you might have to cut a little slits here on this side and on this side over here. This way you got more room to work with. So the air duct here needs to be removed first. And right here in the back is a little pop-up plastic clip that you can pop up very easy. Once that's out of the way, you can just pull this out. And then there's one more cover here for the battery. These two tabs. Push them back. Up and just pull towards you. We're gonna unplug the vent valve, which is this little pipe over here. Unplug it and out of the way. We're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket. Remove the positive terminal. Take the cover up. Make sure you get something that can cover the positive cable so it doesn't touch anything of the car's body because, as you know, we have the trickle charger hooked up. Let's get this ready here. and out of the way. And next we got bracket that holds the battery in place and it's right down there, it has two screws. So one screw is right over here and the other one is right over here. So if I move this out of the way, you can see it's right there. These two screws, they require a 13 millimeter. Now just take out the bracket. Now we can grab the battery. So these type of batteries, they have two vent holes. One hole is on this side, which is capped off, and the other hole is on this side, which was not capped off because that's where the vent tube, this, went over here. So let's check the other, the new battery, if it needs a cap so we can transfer this over. This new battery needs to be capped off over here. And what I like to do is right here on the top, on the inside the Ziploc bag, I put the receipt when I bought this battery. Because if something happens within three years, I can return it, but you have to have a receipt.
with a little helper like this. I can start threading it in. Now I'm going to attach back the negative terminal. The vent. Back to the 10 millimeter. At this point, remove the trickle charger. With the trickle charger out of the way. Cover. Battery cover. The air duct. Push the little plastic clip in the back corner, top cover. Make sure the vent protrudes through the holes here. Didn't get a chance to do the before and after, but the car would not start at all. Not even a single crank. So we can go ahead and check this out now. Brake pedal, keys ready to go. All right. Well, it wasn't too bad then. If this helped you out somewhat, please share, like, subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys next time.